let us see filled area primitives today if you want to fill a polygon with a specified color you can use this approach filled area primitives what is a polygon a polygon is a shape of connected edges or we can say that in a polygon shape line segment should be connected in such a way that the starting point and the ending point should be the same for example triangle rectangle square pentagon hexagon etc you can create any number of edges but the condition is that the starting vertex and the ending vertex should be the same they should be closed the shape should be closed to fill this uh, polygon there are two steps in the first step we need to find out all the points or pixels interior to the polygon and the border pixels also i have to find out and in the second step after finding out these points i have to fill those pixels with a specified color and two types of polygon filling algorithm algorithms are here first one is scanline fill algorithm and the second is seed fill algorithm and the seed fill algorithm is again categorized into two boundary fill algorithm and the flood fill algorithm let us see scan line polygon filling algorithm here the polygon triangle is represented here triangle abc what it is um, edge is ab edge bc bc edge and the ac edge then this y represents the scan line passing between passing through this ab edge and bc edge and intersecting these points here one point is the here one point is the and in the x axis we are represented here as 6 and s coordinates is 6 and 10 that is we have to traverse through scan line by scan line and find out the each intersection points with the edges this one and then store this point in the frame buffer store the 6 and 10 points in the frame buffer after that we have to color every pixels in between this point in between 6 and 10 we have to color all the pixels with a specified color consider another polygon a b c d e a b c d e is the polygon having five edges here y is the scan line represented here and you can see the y intersects this polygon in here 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 and here there is four intersection points are there then it is represented in the x axis as 6 8 12 and 14 these values are stored in the frame buffer like this 6 and 8 first pair then 12 and 14 second pair then we need to fill this specified color to this values that is 6 to 8 we have to uh, fill the color and from 12 to 14 we have to fill the color same color consider the special case here we can see that this scan line passes through the vertex vertex c the same polygon a b c d e and the scan line y is passes through the vertex this c vertex is uh, in between bc edge and cd edge then it is represented in the x axis as 6 then this point is 10 and 14 then if the total number of intersection points are odd number here it is 3 we need to consider the vertex twice two times because to fill the polygon we need four values so it is stored as 6 10 10 14 first pair is 6 10 and the second pair is 10 14 after that uh, it is represented in the frame buffer and after that we have to fill the uh, specified color which, which color we want we have to fill this in the area 6 to 10 and in the pixels in between 10 and 14 consider another example here also scan line intersects the vertex point here we can see the vertex point here and here we get even number of intersection points even number of intersection points 2 
here we consider the intersection point as 1. We need to consider the intersection point as 1. But in the case of this one, previous example, we need to consider the intersection point 10 as twice. We need to traverse all the edges of a polygon either in clockwise this direction or in anti-clockwise direction. If y value is monotonically increasing, either monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing, we can see the intersection edges are on opposite sides. Here, this one and this edge. And this time, we need to consider only one point. That is, if the y value is monotonically either monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing, we need to consider only one intersection point to store. In the previous condition, this is not monotonically increasing, this is in decreasing. If you are considering the uh, clockwise direction, this B is decreasing, then C D is increasing. So we need to consider two values. But here, if you are considering the clockwise direction, this is monotonically decreasing. Suppose if you are considering the anti-clockwise direction, opposite direction, uh, we can see that uh, this is monotonically increasing. In both the cases, we have to consider only one point and save the point into the buffer. Uh, in this case, if the value is in both sides of scan line, both the sides of scan line, there is another approach. That is, first case, if we are traversing in the clockwise direction, from here to here, clockwise direction, then we need to reduce the upper end y value by 1. That is this one y minus 1. If you need to reduce the y value, y minus 1. Like this way, identify all the points which are uh, intersecting with the polygon edges. If it is monotonically decreasing, like this way. And monotonically increasing, like this way. And next one is boundary filling algorithm. Here, one picture is there. We have to put an interior pixel. Select an interior pixel. Any pixel. X-ray. And start the algorithm. And how we start? Find the nearest neighboring pixel. We can use 4 connected method or 8 connected method. In the 4 connected method, the neighboring pixels are, suppose this one is the original pixel what we are selected, x, y, that is we are represented as s, k, y, k. That is y coordinate is y, k, s coordinate is s, k. In the 4 connected way, we are uh, taking 4 uh, top one, uh, top pixel, bottom pixel, uh, right pixel, left pixel. 4 pixels are, uh, 4 pixels we are taking. The coordinates are, here this, uh, in the top uh, pixel, coordinate is s, k, y, k plus 1. Here, bottom pixel x k y k minus 1. And the, this one, pixel coordinate is x k plus 1 y k. And this one is x k minus 1 y k. That is, we are uh, taking 4 connected pixel. Suppose if you are taking 8 connected uh, method, uh, eight connected pixel method, we have to consider this diagonal representation also. This one, here 1 pixel is uh, there. Then here 1 pixel, here 1 more pixel, here 1 more pixel. 4 more pixels. That is 8 more pixels. 8 plus 1 total 9 number of pixels. Here sk plus 1 coordinate. Uh, sorry yk plus 1 uh, value. y value. yk value. y minus yk minus 1 value. Here x value. sk minus 1 value. sk value. sk plus 1 value. Uh, in the 8 connected pixel. This here the coordinate is sk minus 1 yk minus 1. Sorry, s k minus 1 y k plus 1. Here, x k plus 1 y k plus 1. Here, x k minus 1 y k minus 1. Here, x k minus 1. Sorry, x k plus 1 y k minus 1. And in the boundary fill algorithm, the steps are uh, like this. Uh, start from an interior point. That is this one. 
this point interior point x then if the current pixel is not already filled that pixel is not already filled and if it is not an edge point then set the pixel with the fill color and store its neighbor pixels for our edge connector we can use in the stack for processing store only neighbor pixel that is not already filled and is not an edge point select the next pixel from the stack and continue with the step 2 this is the code void the function is repeated here void uh, boundary fill 4 that is we are using for connected then the arguments are in the x in the y x y pixels of the what we are selected then in the b and background and in the fill color f here in the current pixel is equal to get pixel of x y if it is uh, pixel of x y that is current is current we can select it is it has a get pixel of x y current pixel then if that current pixel is not equal to background and not equal to fill color we have to do this one set the color of fill color next to set the pixel of x y we have to get the pixel then boundary fill for of this all the fill all the this one this coordinates it's k y k plus one then b f next one boundary fill four of this uh, coordinate sk minus one yk then bf boundary fill four of sk yk minus one bf boundary fill four of sk plus one yk bf next one is flood fill algorithm sometimes we want to fill an area that is not defined with a specified color we have to fill more colors uh, in the case of a triangle we have filled three colors three types of colors then paint such areas by replacing a specified interior color instead of searching for boundary color value the algorithm is start from a specified interior pixels what we have selected earlier that is x y start with the x y and reassign all pixel values that are currently set to a given interior color with a desired fill color another color we have to use another color you can use four connected or eight connected approach uh, through pixel positions until all interior pixels have been repainted here we match the background color stop color fill until we does not find a pixel where color is not same as the background color we'll get different colors so thank you for watching